Hey, my friends, what's going on? Kater here on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friend. What's going on in your life today? How you doing today? How you feeling today? Let's see how many people I can get on this live. I'm gonna be doing a live training this morning. I usually just do a video, a live video, but this morning I say let's take it to a whole next level. I don't have my whiteboard yet, but we're gonna get live on this training. I'm gonna do this free training for you today. I'm not gonna be selling anything at the end, so stay tuned and watch. So let's see how many people we can get live and I'm gonna be talking about a blueprint. I'm gonna be talking about how to make 100K inside of your online business. If you're a newbie, if you're just getting started, this stuff is gonna be massive, it's gonna be crazy. So share this video with as many friends as possible because I'm giving you the secret on how to create 100K inside of your business, inside of your life, and I feel like a lot of people can use that information. And when I first got started, it's getting those type of information that really helped me change my life. So if you on here today, when you're watching this, it's gonna help you change your life. So welcome to the live, Vanessa Freeman, Anita Bryan, people that's coming on. So comment below, let me know where you guys are watching from. Where are you from, what state you guys are watching from right now, and if you're watching live, where are you watching from right now, okay? So, understanding, this is the first milestone that you're gonna have to, to overcome, getting inside of your business, getting to 100K. Most people, that's where they suffer the most, right? The beginning, because that's the beginning stage. You don't know much, but you're trying to make it happen. You know the dream is possible, right? Because you see other people making it happen. Florida, what's up, Florida in the house? So you are my friend, we are a neighbor, New York City in the house. What's going on, Tanisha, how you doing today? So, guys, establishing 100 cans out of your business is going to be the number one milestone that you want to overcome. Because once you get to 100K, it gets easier for you to get to 200K than to 300K. Why? Because now you can sit down and you can start thinking about stuff, right? Because now you are able to invest a little bit more. You have a little bit more cushion inside of your business, right? You have the income for you to do certain things that you could not do before. So 100K is always going to be the first milestone for you. When I first started my first year online, I did 42K with a small program in about six months. Right, That was my first six months on the internet. I started in the month of April, the end of April, and then about May, I did about 42K inside of that one small business. And how did it happen? It happened with consistency, with persistence and open mind that this is what I'm after. I'm gonna create 100K. The next year, the next year now, I created 250K. I've been online for four years. 250K in the next years, I followed the blueprint, right? I got a mentor. I got, you know, certain parts of my business. I start laying down some foundation, which I'm gonna give you the blueprint today. I'm gonna share with you some processes that's gonna help you do that to create your first 100K. Then you can start shooting to a million and over 500K and then a million after, okay? Then the second year, I ended up making 250K. The third year, I ended up making 500K, and now I'm shooting for a million. Now, how did it all happen? How can you duplicate the same process for yourself inside of your business, okay? So, the stuff you must understand, guys, you must define the vision of your business. A lot of people get into business just for the money. If you just get in for the money, you're not gonna be here long term. I had a friend who called me up the other day and said, hey Cater, I've seen what you've been doing online for yourself, your family. I wanna create the same thing for myself because I wanna be free. I wanna create something amazing where I don't have to answer to somebody else. See, what you must understand, if you work in a job, most job only use just a fraction, just a fraction of your capacity. Most people that works a job, because when you are there, you're testing different things, you're gonna start realizing that you have different talents and different gifts inside of you. Most jobs only allow you to use about 10% of what you're capable of. You can't tell me that if you work in a job getting paid $10 an hour, even $20 an hour, you're using all your talents and all your capacity. And that's one of the most reasons why I love what I do, giving me the ability to go test myself, push myself into different level to see what I can reach. See, when you get to that mindset, you start understanding there's so much more in you than you're actually giving yourself credit for. Because you can learn, you can grow. So you must establish what's the vision for my business. Establish the vision for my business. How many people I'm gonna help? What's gonna be the priority? 
So that person called me on the phone yesterday and said, hey, Cater, I want to do the same thing. But when I told them, hey, this is not just going to be a freebie, right? You don't just get in and become successful overnight. There's going to be some work. There's going to be some sacrifice that you're going to have to make. I would like to give it to you. I would like to give it to as many people as possible, but you cannot skip the grind. You cannot escape the hustle. It's there for everybody. If you want it, you got to go through the process. There's no way. Like I told you guys, I didn't just skip and get to a million. Boom. It didn't happen. Right? I, I went through the process. The first year, I created a certain amount of income. The second year, I started following a blueprint. I started following some people that had some results that I wanted. I got a coach. Then I start seeing some results. Right? I start setting the foundation for my business. I'm going to give you the formula to create a six-figure biz, um, business inside of your um, six-figure inside of your business, but I cannot guarantee that you're going to skip the process because it's there for everybody. What's going on, Judith? What's going on, um, Travis? What's up, Shatoya? How you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day, okay? So let me explain some of the stuff that you're gonna need, okay? First thing, you're gonna need to create a structure. I call it an entrance gate. So if you build building a business on the internet, you need to have some types of structures and some types of foundation where people can actually get in and see what you do, right? If you're not out there promoting, you're not out there, you know, even if you can't do paid marketing, do free marketing. If you don't have some type of entrance, you don't have some types of entrance gate that people can see what you do, right? They, they don't even know you, you have a business. People just see you posting pictures or whatever, but they don't know what you do. They don't know what you got, you know? If you're not out there hustling, getting people to see what you do, putting people in front of your vision, guess what? You're not going to be able to reach those people. You're not going to be able to reach a six-figure income. So you need to be able to have an entrance gate where people can come in and experience what you got. You know, if I was to ask you right now, if I want to do business with you, if I want to swipe my credit card on your name, can I do that? Can I do that? So you must realize I need some types of foundation. I need some types of structure that I can actually get people in and once they get in, they are able to actually get me money. You are able to get income. So that's the only way you're going to create six figure. You have to be able to get people's income. You have to be able to get people's money. So you have to create a foundation. Okay. And the next thing you must understand, you must be able to propose and display your asset. Okay. If you have a foundation, you get them in. Now you must be able to let them know, Hey, this is what I got to offer. This is what my business is about. This is what I have. And the goal every single day. I learned that from Mark Cuban. If you guys know Mark Cuban, he's the owner of Dallas Mavericks. And one of the things that he said, one of the mistakes that I made was in the beginning, you might get caught up. If you're a newbie, you get caught up in learning mode. So you stay learning. You keep learning. You keep learning new information, but you're not out there in the trenches marketing, which is the main purpose. That's what you must focus on. You must focus on getting people to what you have to offer. That's the goal. From the day that I understood that information, he said, the goal is never to stay learning during the time that your market is up. I need to be learning at nighttime. And in the daytime, I am pushing content. I am helping people. I'm reaching out. I'm seeing how I can close the next deal. I'm calling my clients on the phone and see how I can close the next mastermind, the next coaching clients, right? I'm pushing my business. I'm pushing my content out there. See, most people ended up spending their time. I don't even read anymore in the morning. I used to read in the morning. I flip it to before I go to sleep now. Why? Because I want to concentrate on reaching my people. I want to concentrate on making a difference, on bringing my vision into the world. So you want to use the most, the best part of your day to reaching out, to bringing people into what you're doing, okay? To display your asset. What do you have to offer? You know, I use social media. Use social media for yourself. If you're not using social media, you have a huge platform, Facebook, YouTube. Make it a goal every single day, five minutes a day, you start reaching out to people that's on that platform and they start following you. Those people start following you and those people start believing in your vision. You're going to start out with nothing. You're going to start out with no following. Everybody starts out with nothing. Everybody starts out with no following. But everybody that starts out with a vision and stick with it and they know why they're doing the stuff. They know their family, their life depends on it and they ain't going to quit. I mean, they start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. 
I promise you, before you know it, people start investing in you because you have a vision. The world needs leaders. They need people to lead. So if you step up your game, you get to the next level, people will start following you and it's going to start getting easier for you to display your asset, for you to show them what you got to offer. Okay? Next thing you need to influence your market. And the way you're going to do that is by being different. It's by creating a culture. You know, learn and teach and align yourself with your vision. Focus, focus. You know, if you're going to create 100K, you need focus. So many people on the internet are so lost, being distracted every single day by the new object. There's going to be a new shiny object, but until you learn how to sit down and work on your skill set, work on yourself, right? Work on the quality of products that you can provide. Work on being different. Work on taking things to the next level while everybody is draining the next lunch. Everybody's getting on the next bandwagon. I can tell you, until you sit down and focus and say, hey, this is my goal. I'm going to hit 100K. I'm going to stop suffering inside of my business. I'm going to stop joining every next thing that comes out. And I'm going to stay laser focused. And I'm going to create some massive results for myself because my family lives depends on this. I need to be successful not just for myself, but I need it for my community. I need it for my family. I need it for my whole country. You need to be successful. If you don't want to be successful, you are selfish because there's other people who are waiting for you to make it, to make 100K so that they can believe in themselves. They might be watching me and they don't believe in me. You should share this video so other people can hear that information. So, and then they can believe in you. You can actually go and share that information yourself so other people can start believing, hey, this stuff is possible. I can create this stuff for myself. So you need to be able to influence your market. And it must be value driven and purpose. It cannot be just about the money, right? It can't be just about the money because people can see through the BS. If you're just about making a few dollars, you're not gonna last for a long time. I've seen people on the internet for that starts in this business and just six months later, they're not even in anymore. But I know the veteran, see? Time is going to prove everybody's work. You can fake it for a moment, but you cannot fake it forever. You can fake it for a minute, but you cannot fake it long term. So the people that's going to stay in business long term, that's going to create massive results for themselves, they're going to stay in the game. Those people that's going to create 100K, 2, 3, 4, 500K, a million dollars, they're going to stay in the game. You're going to see them. It's not just going to be profit driven. It's going to be purpose driven because they understand how to change life. Now, the big step that really changed things for me, guys, is positioning and branding. When you know how to position yourself strategically, right, you know how to position yourself in the marketplace as a leader, all right, you start dominating everything that you get on. Everything that you get in, you start developing the confidence that you can crush it. Because you've seen what you've been able to do. Because you have a process that you can follow for domination. I was part of an event last week and I was mingling with some of the people who were crushing it. Some of my brothers who were creating, you know, a million dollars inside of the e-commerce. You know, I have people around me who's creating a million dollars inside of coaching and different way of creating their own business. So they dominating because they position their brand. So if your brand is going to be this brand that's going to be around for six months and then you're going to be gone for a couple of days, then you're going to come back, you're going to be gone for six months. You, people's not going to trust you. You might say, hey man, Kater, I don't have a brand. Yes, you do. If you don't say nothing, then that's your brand, right? Your brand stands for nothing. So you have to be able to create consistency because without consistency, you're not going to be around for long term. You're just going to get in, make the quick cash, and then be gone for a minute. So you have to be able to influence people. You have to be driven. Let me see. Cater, Detroit in the house. Chatoya. Yeah, you have to be driven by purpose. Okay? What's, what's going on, Cal? What's going on? What's going on, man? How you doing? So, guys, before you actually hate 100K, you have to shift your mindset. It all starts in the mind first. First, you got to believe that I can do this stuff. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. Even if it's going to take everything inside of your body to create it, 
everything that you've got, everything that you can put on the line. Some days you're not going to have to sleep, but that should be your first milestone. Because once you, once you reach that, how much is that? If you make 100K a year, about 9K every month. I mean, 9K every month, it's not that much. Now I'm saying this, you know, I, my first year, I would have said, hey, this is crazy. I cannot make 9K every month. But once you reach that level, it becomes easier because now you can have a little bit of money to go on vacation with your kids. Then you have a little bit of money to actually spend in advertising because you have a little bit of cushion. You have a little bit of cushion. So you can spend a little bit more. You can invest a little bit more inside of yourself. That should be your first goal, hitting 100K. Once you hit 100K, a lot of people, here's one mistake that I did. I did, right? And I don't want you to do the same mistake. I'm going to give you the secret. You know, I did. Once I hit 100K, now people think about, I'm just going to save my way to success. You cannot save your way to riches or freedom. I learned that from one of my mentor, Grant Cardone. You cannot save your way. If you just stay cruising after you did 100K, guess what's going to happen? Everything is going to start going down. Everything is going to start going down because you got to produce to the next level. Once you hit a goal, you got to set up a new one. Because if you hit 100K, it's never going to stay 100K. So I start cruising. I'm relaxing. I'm chilling. I'm like, oh, shoot. You know, then I should have created another goal. Then that's when I created a goal for 250. Once you hit a goal, set a new one. Because what's going to happen, that old goal is going to be gone. Then you're going to need to create a new goal. So the first goal is to hit 100K inside of your business, okay? You have to structureize yourself. Get an entrance gate where people can actually see what you have to offer. And once they get to see what you have to offer, you need to display your assets so that you can get them into more of what you've got so that they can follow you more and start making a difference. Okay, if your brand is not making a difference, well, it is not worth it. See, you must understand what does your market value? What do people around you and your market value? Not what you value, because if you counting on what you value, maybe what's valuable to you is not valuable to them, okay? Keep that one. Maybe what's valuable to you is not valuable to them. So once you understand your purpose and your passion and you find out who's that thing valued for, who wants it, you're going to start making a big, big difference. That's the, that's the breakthrough blueprint for me. That's the blueprint to 100K. You know, and you're going to feel so great. I promise you, you're going to feel so great once you make it happen. It's going to build the confidence inside of you that you can actually go out there and create more for yourself. What's going on, Cal? How you doing, man? Looking thick. Yeah, bro. I'm trying to be like you, man. I'm going to the gym now, working out, you know, every single day. I go out there and say to myself, you are a beast. We're going to destroy the weights. We're going to run. It's the same mindset that you have to run your business with. You know, if you don't have the passion while you're running, you need to be able to slow down for a minute, motivate yourself, go on YouTube, find some motivational speakers, you know, some people that can motivate you because you see the feeling, feeling has thought, right? That's what you feel that becomes things. Whatever you're thinking, it becomes thing. So if you're not feeling certain type of way about your business, if people ask you what you do, you don't, you're not excited about it, maybe you're in the wrong thing. If I ask you what do you do and you cannot be passionate, you cannot talk about, man, this is the most amazing thing. If you work in a job and I ask you what you do and you feel some type of way, you feel afraid or you feel ashamed, maybe you are not using your full capacity. You are not using your full potential. You must be willing, you must get at the point where people ask you what you do and they have to stop and say, oh, slow down, slow down, because you're so passionate. What you're talking about, you're so passionate, you're so in love with it, that is going to make such a big difference and such a big impact. So if you're waking up every single day, you go into a place that you don't like, you're hanging around with people that don't make you feel good about yourself, you don't feel good about what you do, maybe it's time for you to change the will, experience something new. 
Because you're never going to know what you're good at if you're not experiencing different things. That's why I make it a goal to read, to experience new places, to do new things. Instead of being stuck, you only have one life to live. Why not go to the fullest? You only have one life to live. Why not learn how to create a 100K? If you have a job, I don't care what job you have, they will never sit you down and say, I'm gonna give you the formula on this job to create a 100K. Never. You're not gonna find your manager says that, but you come on the internet, you find people that has different formulas that knows exactly how to make it happen and they show you the way and you just follow and you make stuff happen for yourself. So guys, remember, Create that goal for yourself. I want to be able to create 100 cans out of my business and I'm going to do everything that it takes to make it happen. Okay, guys? Anyway, guys, I'm going to go finish up with some work. I hope you have a good day. That was Cater. What's going on, Jonathan? What's going on, bro? So, I will see you guys. I'll see you guys later, right? So, take care of yourself. Do what you got to do. First milestone, hit 100K, second milestone, five, and then one million, and then go all the way. And you can do it faster than I did. So that's what I'm looking for. If you're serious about making this stuff happen, do what you gotta do, man. Anyway, guys, let me see. All right, some content here. I'll see you guys later. Bye.